Well, well, John is very original. Uh, I mean, to me, he's one of the most original voices on the instrument. Um, like he's recognizable straight away, like the first note. There's not too many players like that, you know. Um, I think I'll be less of an individual sort of style, but um, you know, I'm working on it. <laughs> I'm working on it. But um, yeah, what was the question there again? <laughs> <laughs> you just answered. I think that's it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, his originality. And yet, and yet, we would have listened to a lot of the same people, mm -hmm. uh, uh, you know, as well. I mean, he would have listened to Miles Davis and Coltrane and all yeah, those. We sort definitely of have a shared vocabulary. And guitar and players, actually. Yeah. Oh yeah, there's a, there's another thing we do actually have a uh, we have a, a great love of harmony. We were talking about it today, actually. Looking yeah, we're talking about today. Version of a chart with all this additional harmonic information, and he was very interested to see what it all was and pick yeah. it up right away. Yeah, some Bill Evans stuff. And he gave me a, he gave me his take on it might have been a monk take, but he shared a ver his version of a standard with a lot of additional chords, and we like this kind of harmonic detail. We both enjoy this. Yeah, so that is a definite yeah. hook up here. So I in think, that sense, actually. I think if that sets yeah. you apart maybe from the average very good bebop guitar player. You have this, you like more harmonic detail. I think I do. That's probably what really yeah. attracted me to jazz yeah. in the first place, actually yeah. more than the single line stuff, which most people sort of you know, you know go for, you know. But yeah, yeah. 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 It's fascinating, um, yeah.
Okay, it's an interesting you story, actually, yeah. because yeah. we met through mutual friends in Argentina, one of whom is actually now here. That's a little slight, a slightly later part of the story. Um, but I knew about you, and then when I was playing, I've been in Argentina many times to play and teach. I have friends there. And Hugh's name came up through a mutual friend down there, Daniel Corso, who lives in Cordoba. So I thought, I'll just send you an email and see if he replies. Who knows, I've never been to Dublin, and I liked his playing, and he replied. So that's the first, I've been here now twice, this is my third time. First time was in 08, and Hugh fixed us, up, fixed us up a couple of gigs. And then the next year he helped me again. So I came back, and that time we played Galway and Dublin with John Feely, who's a great classical guitarist, mm. who was game to try to play some jazz with us. And he plays jazz quite well, actually. So I've been here twice now, thanks to Hugh, and this is my third visit now. The jazz guitar world is unique in the sense that we can play together in duos. So I tell students at clinics in France, reach out to other guitar players. So sometimes I'm, I mean, this trip is about three months, about uh, seven, eight weeks in Europe, and I'm playing with maybe 10 good guitar players here, all different, in different places. Mm -hmm. So we have a little jazz guitar network. And I did know about, when I heard you on YouTube, the other nice thing is you can kind of preview someone who's playing before you actually meet. I heard him and said, yeah, we'll have a great time together musically. Thank you. 